Welcome back, guys, to this episode of the XBA Playoffs. We're getting this thing underway. We have Montreal, New York. Going to kick things off here or tip things off here. The City Slickers made a big addition there with DeAndre Jordan to kind of round out that roster. They finally got the center they wanted. Montreal's got some pretty good pieces here coming into this game. You got Jerome Blackman, a couple veterans like Gordon Hayward and Rudy Gobert, and you got some younger guys like P.J. Washington and Romeo Langford that are playing really well here as well. All right, so you got about 40 seconds left in the first half. Langford's going to knock down a three ball. Montreal's got themselves a nice little lead, but Marcus Anthony's going to score for three and make this thing a 42-40 game. Montreal shooting a 61% from the field that might not be sustainable, but we shall see as we see New York Starting to come back here, 62 to 56 ball game. You see Kevin Knox with a behind the back dunk and a missed free throw there by Gordon. So you got four minutes left in the game. Lamelo, he's got some options here. Let's see where he's going to go. Finds Marcus Anthony, and the roll will go for the City Slickers. 2:45 left. Hitting the deck is going to be Lamella Ball, and the City Slickers are going to pull this one out in game number one, 87 to 78. Not the game one performance that Montreal is looking for, but the City Slickers will pull on at home for the win. Blackman had 26 points, PJ Washington was 16. All right, Tampa Bay and Columbus. We're going to the doghouse here. This is a Columbus team that. I mean, when you factor in free agency coming up, I mean, it's going to be tough sledding. They've got a lot of guys whose contracts are up, like Zion, Harold, Barrett, Hero, Keldon Johnson. All those guys are set to leave if they don't get re-signed. So this is a Columbus team that's been close over the years, but they got to get it done this time around. And it's a Tampa Bay team on the other side. you got Kyrie Irving, veteran, but you got a team that's drafted very, very well, I would I would argue. Kennedy Alvarez, Nader, and Nas Dunstan, kind of the future of this team. And they have a lot of good veteran pieces. Draymond Green, Serge Ibaka, you got Akobo, Kyrie, so you have Gallinari, Kuzma. So the, everybody's got a lot of guys that have been around in the league. We got seven blocks in this game for Columbus, and that's kind of how they are taking the lead here. You got Zion going down. Foul's going to go against Draymond Green. Zion has 21 points here in the third quarter. Going to get Gallinari for a long two ball. Still down seven. Three for Colvin. Point guard makes everything go. Right now, four point lead for Columbus. Alvarez is going to go to the line. Foul on Tyler Hero. He's got about five and a half minutes here in change. Still 10 point game. Now it's an eight point game with four minutes. Tampa Bay charging again. It'll be Shakir Nader with a big dunk. Three-point game we're down to, and that is going to be a long two. So it's a two-point game. It's going to be a foul ball. It's going to ricochet off the glass. Still two points for Columbus. Nader gets the rebound. 40 seconds left. Kennedy Alvarez looking around. He's going to have Shakir Nader. He's going to throw behind the back. This ball game's tied, folks. 93-99. And a rookie mistake there by R.J. Barrett has had his foot on the line, and we get another crazy pass into the paint from Kyrie Irving this time. It'll be 95-93. Colvin, mid-range jumper, no good. Bitadze with the rebound. 18.7 left on the clock. And Tampa Bay is going to the line to try to complete this comeback. We have a pretty good fourth-quarter comeback. Nas Dunstan checks back in. Irving to go up four, and they will convert. 97-93, going to go for three here probably. R.J. Barrett on the miss, and Shakir Nader will corral it. Looks like Tampa Bay will take this one 99-96. So the Sting get a mini upset here in game one of the series. Colvin, 23, Williamson, 22, and Barrett had a double-double with 20 points. So the... Young guys really did play pretty well for Columbus, but had it just had a bad fourth quarter. Did not score enough points in there. All right, we are going to New Orleans. You have the Neptunes and the Dragons. The Neptunes are one of the favorites this year in the XBA. Juan Argeta, Lillard, Clay Thompson, and Kawhi Leonard. How could they not be one of the favorites? They're coming in as one of the hotter teams in the league. They were sort of still on that playoff bubble as uh, March began, but they finished extremely strong. 
to take one of those top seeds in the Western Conference. I think there were two games out of first place when it was all said and done. This California team, though, that's trying to play spoiler because they've been close for a couple years, um, but they just, you know, they missed out. Here's Jin Hao with the two ball. Looks good right there, 34-33. And now Jin Hao again. Jin Hao, the center out of China, first year player, but he's got some professional experience. Now, this California team, like I was saying, they've, they've been in the playoffs twice, I believe, in our series. They've been out of it for a few years now, a couple years. They've gotten lucky in the draft lottery as well. Oh, they're going to call it goaltending on Hassan Whiteside here, late third. So, but they've made that, those picks work out. Jin Hao, CJ Thomas, got Hendricks after year one. So, it's a team that's been putting together a pretty good roster. There's Malachi Hendricks. Foul is going to go against Damian Lillard. So, it's a one point game. Now, Lillard weaving in, and Jin Hao is going to disrupt that pass to Kawhi Leonard. So, this is why the Dragons selected Howe and why they liked what they saw out of him. Jin Hao throws it down. <laughs> Might see a budding superstar here. You know, I, I think he just turned 20 years old and he's got that kind of size. He's hitting the weight room. I mean, this dude might be pretty legit here. Lillard it was cold before he hit that three ball. Now it's still a three point game. CJ Thomas, the scoring threat there. Hassan Whiteside cleans it up and it's good to have a guy like Hassan Whiteside as your number two center. New Orleans will score. Timeouts called. We have CJ Thomas for a deep two, and he will score that one 97-92 right now. So New Orleans not going to come back in this one. So California gets a road upset here. Six seed over the three in game one. So they are pumped up to feeling it. See them near the sidelines there. Jaden Hunter played pretty well in his reserve time as well. 33 for Lillard in this one. Hunter had six. See CJ Thomas led the way with 30. Jin Hao had 12 and 11. Hendricks with 11 assists. So he didn't crack double digits points wise, but pretty good throwing the ball around. All right, Alaska Chill, Denver Summit. Going to the Mile High Club. This could be his last game. The first XBA champion, Giannis Antetokounmpo with the Alaska Chill. He might be testing free agency. Something tells me he'll want to get out of Alaska, but he's part of a successful franchise. He's the core of this team that's been to the playoffs multiple seasons. I believe they've only been in the lottery once. I want to say only one time in the lottery for this team. So, you know, they got a good thing going. Will it be smart to mix this thing up? I don't know. Apollo Steel will score right before the half. Denver Summit, on the other hand, they're kind of a lot like, they remind me a lot of Pittsburgh and St. Louis. They're a team that's been run around the block. This core has made the playoffs four years. Only have one lottery, to my knowledge, uh, selecting Mondre Rhymes Porter. But his team has really been around. They've been in the mix. They've been close a couple times. Let's see if this is the year they can finally do it. And they're they're pretty young, too. I mean, you got Boss and Rhymes Porter are kind of the big guys on campus here. And you have uh, James Weissman as well. But, yeah, I mean, you know, Ben Simmons is the engine here. He can kind of... He can weave inside, make big dunks like that. Decent passer. So, you know, when Ben Simmons wants to play, he can be pretty productive. And right now, the Summit have a five-point lead. Blake Griffin is going to lay one up. No good. And McCall Bridges with the rebound. Denver's going to pull this one out by 10. So I didn't talk too much about this game. But Alaska is going to start off in a hole on the road. The Summit get the win. Sal Boss was your leading Score with 27. Big game for Wiseman as well. Giannis had 26 and 9. Apollo Steele with the double double. Now we have here going to Toronto. Neon and Stags. Neon fended off Pittsburgh and Miami. I can't think of a better word than that. They played very well in April to hold on to that final spot. Toronto came on strong. They're, they've been pretty good all year. And obviously, adding DeAndre Ayton was huge for what this team was trying to do to shore up that center spot. CJ Kemmerly with a three ball there. I want to see what Kemmerly can do. I feel like he's the kind of guy who can cement his XBA legacy with a deep playoff run or an XBA championship. He's just that kind of guy. Might be next year, might be the following year. I'm not sure how that's going to pan out, but I feel like he's close to a breakthrough. 
you know, obviously he's getting some all XBA love as well. Tobias Harris for three as we're nearing the end of the third, 60 to 57. And then Seku Demboya. That's better than anything he's ever done in real life. Kemmerly inside in a tie game. He's going to draw the foul against Jarrett Allen. So he's getting to the line as usual, making plays. We know that's what Kemmerly can do. 74 72. Turnaround for Tobias Harris is good. Now we're down to about a minute and change left. New York nursing a five point lead after the miss. RJ Hampton's trying to beat Van Vliet and he will get it done. 85 78. RJ Hampton now with 12 points today. The other Hendricks here, Mason Hendricks, is going to get stuffed by Andre Drummond. So it's a battle of centers. That's what I like about this matchup, Drummond versus Aiton. So that's pretty cool right there. And then the dagger for Kimberly. 87 to 80 will be your final score. The Neon take game one on the road. So another, another road upset. We've had a couple of them here so far. So that's what we like though about the XBA. There's a lot of parity involved. Anything can happen, you never know. Tobias Harris led the way with 17 points, Kimberly 16. And now we have the 8-1 matchup. It's almost like a pick em, though. Yeah, I mean, you guys know XBA history. The eight seeds have been pretty successful against the ones. I don't think they're quite 500, but they might be one series under 500, something like that. But, you know, they have, the one seeds have obviously been cursed. Chicago's been good all year. Wisconsin's been good all year as well. And the James Harden addition, I don't think it's, I mean, it may have helped them out in the end. It's hard to say, but they haven't been playing much better than they have all year since the addition of Harden, because obviously they ended up with the eight seed. Obviously the Eastern Conference is tightly packed, but you know, Wisconsin was hoping adding James Harden would put them above the fray and kind of elevate them to where Chicago is. And it never really happened. They still kind of played that, you know, 58% win percentage kind of basketball down the stretch post-trade deadline. But James Harden's having himself a pretty good game here. 49-44. Mitchell Robinson, no good. So the one seed at home is in trouble here. 49-44. And there's Harden again with a big dunk. So he's he's starting to starting to turn it up a gear here. 51-44. Lonzo for an off-kilter three. We'll nail it. And it's going to be 68-61. Oladipo, there'll be a deep two right before the end of the third. So maybe some momentum here heading into the fourth for Chicago. You're going to have Oladipo hitting the deck, 92-88 right now. 92-90, James Harden challenging again inside him. He'll convert Wayne Cartwright, who was struggling a little bit there, finally knocks it down. Boucher, power forward inside of Foul will go against Incolo, and Boucher is going to knock down that one. It'll be 98-95. That's Mitchell Robinson for three. Wayne Cartwright cleans it up, has an easy, easy look for the former number one. Well, I don't think he was number one draft pick, but he was one of the top draft picks of that second class. He can't get it done. Nice pitch in there to Cartwright to get this thing within one. So it's going to be a free throw contest here. TJ Giffey, second year player out of Kansas, knocks both of them down. It'll be 197. Need a three ball for the tie, and they're not even going to get the shot off because Oladipo gets pickpocketed by James Harden, and Harden's going in for the kill shot here. 102.97. That is your final. The Bandits get the quote unquote upset here in round one over the one seed. We've seen that before, though. It's not shocking. Singly, the box score, Oladipo, 28, Cartwright, 23. Chris Paul had 20, and Okada was pretty good in relief, but big fourth quarter there. James Harden just had a good second half in general. All right, we have the seven seed Kansas City Stampede versus the number two LA Leopards. Problem for LA, Yusuf Nurkic, not ready to go yet. He's projected to come back towards the end of the series, at least if they can push a past four games, um, which you would think that they would be able to do that, but he won't be here for at least the first four games, and we'll see his status after that, but so it's going to have to be Daniel Tice, and this is a matchup that I feel like Kansas City can exploit because they, realistically, they got the two best players on the court, you know, Morant and Luka, 
Supporting cast for KC, not as good as LA, but Oliver Grimes is a guy that has been a very productive force. You see him knocking another shot there with 30 seconds left in the half. And then again, it's Oliver Grimes. He might be your player of the first half as Kansas City's starting to open up a lead here, 48-39. Um, you know, LA, you got DeAndre Hunter and Murray. Those are obviously their two best players. But, I mean, like, you know, Kansas City's got the two best players. So they're feeling pretty good despite the win-loss record in the regular season here. That's DeAndre Hunter is going to go charging there. Foul against Holiday, 73-68. Morant going to lay that one in. So a seven-point game. Hartenstein trying to play defense. He'll misfire there. 77-70. Zach Levine with a little bit of space to operate. Knocks down a three ball there. 81-77. DeAndre Hunter with the give from Fleck. And Hunter nails it. 81-80. Luka Doncic from the free throw line will knock that one down. And then clear path to the lane for Ananobi. Miss there. Hartenstein cleans it up. 87 to 80 right now a nine point lead so kansas city started to pull away and we have a steal there pretty weak effort and horrible defense that's the ai defense right there jamal murray for three trying to keep his guys in this thing there's still a minute and a half or so left oliver grimes will miss on the other end see if they can hit this one deandre hunter starting to heat up from the field the leopards are starting to feel it Luca for two with the response. Six point game, three balls no good, but Myron Bones will corral it and get to the line with 11 seconds. So Kansas City will pick up game number one here in 104.99 with another road upset. The seven seed over the two. Under 126, Levine 23. Rolando Bishop had a pretty good game there as well with 18 points. Tice, nine rebounds, but that might be the deciding factor in the series. You know, Nurkic was a huge piece for what this team was trying to do. Yeah, but he's not there. All right, so the other one seed here, they're taking on the St. Louis Arrows. St. Louis finished 500. Phoenix was plenty of games over 500 as the one seed. Former XBA champion in year number three. A year removed from that, but most of those guys are still there, especially on the bench. The bench is so solid. Troy Brown, Tyrese Halliburton, uh, the, all that cast is still there. The only guy that's really not around anymore is Lonzo, as he was replaced with Deontay Murray. So it's a bit of a different factor in there for Phoenix, but they're looking to kind of cement their claim as the most successful XBA franchise. But another team that's been super successful is the St. Louis Arrows. The St. Louis Arrows team has never missed the postseason, which is shocking with all the parity that we have. They've been on a knife's edge a couple times in this series, especially this year when they won a tiebreaker over Vegas, had a do or die game in game number 70 against the San Diego Cyclones. Right now, Phoenix has the lead here at home. We got Halliburton for a three and he will nail that one, take an eight point lead. Trying to expand that lead is the alley-oop there to Adebayo. So 10 points. Phoenix Wah trying to spur his guys on with a three ball. Still down by seven. Nice block. Got the rejection by Mo Bamba and a clear fast break. It'll be Nasir Little. And then Randall in a three-point game. St. Louis making a charge here. One-point differential. Booker's going to miss. And Randall is going to corral it. So St. Louis in the middle of a big fourth quarter. It's Phoenix Wah again. Booker only four points in this half, so he is not leading his guys here very well. You're going to have Murray with a miss in this three-point game. Still anybody's ball game. Buddy Mayer. Take it to Bamba. Back to Wa. Double team looks like. Mo Bamba just walks in. Where is Bam? Out of bio. Still two-point game, but Wa's going to drain that one. Got about 30 seconds left. Booker gets a green. Phoenix still around. See if they're going to survive this, but they're going to go for a double team. And Bamba with the easy dunk there. 15 seconds. Now we got about 10. Middleton, nothing doing there. Randall will call it in. So Phoenix is going to go down here. So that one seat curse is, is holding, up, holding up so far. 
This is not what you want to see if you're Phoenix in Chicago, two of the favorites heading into this playoff. So St. Louis gets the road upset, and they are sitting pretty here. Yeah, I mean, as an eight seed, where else would you want to pick up a game but on the road? Only 12 points in that fourth quarter for Phoenix. They were terrible. They got drubbed by the Arrows in the fourth quarter. And they will take this win. All right, guys. So that'll do it for this video. I was originally, I wanted to put the entire first round in one video, but I think we're, we're going to run up towards our 20 minutes by the time that's all said and done. So I am going to split these up, but we'll have the next video out very soon. I know I've, I've promised more than I can deliver at least 11 times in the past over the course of the series, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it done extremely soon. Like we were saying before, deadline's approaching. I'm currently, I'm getting a lot of games simmed right now. I'm in the XBA finals right now. So I'm trying to get in the off season, get some more footage for after they shut these servers down. So I am recording as well as trying to edit games as best that I can. So that being said, guys, we'll see you in the, in the next one for the conclusion of round one coming soon.